Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today is a, a pretty cool video. So I'm planning on painting the brake vent covers. Um, if you don't know what those are, those are right down here. Those are these vents right here. Now I'm going to paint these separately and this is going to be a little bit of an easy job. This is going to be a very easy job guys and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need for the job. Alright, so what you're going to need for the job today to do all this good stuff is you're going to need the primer, then the paint, and then the clear coat. Now, yes, I know it is for the engine part, but I do want it. It does actually protect with liquids and all that kind of stuff. And I actually do have them for my brake calipers as well. I'm going to paint my brake calipers because I wanted them blue. And that's why I want these little vent covers blue as well to kind of match the kind of theme I'm trying to go here. Um, I have blue and black and red. Um, that's my pieces, my couple of things. The engine bay itself is going to be white and red and black. But the outside, I'm trying to get like this. I want my car to be cool. Now, you know. I know people may not like the idea of turning them blue. Um, my car is like silver and black, and I'm planning on blacking them out very soon, guys. So be out and ready for that. It'll be another video itself. I'm gonna be changing out everything, like the chrome parts into black parts. Pretty cool. But um, you know, if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. But it's you know, if if it's your car, guys, you should do what you want to do, and always have fun with your car. Because if it makes you smile, that's all that matters. It, it makes you happy. That's all that matters. So Mini Cooper is supposed to be crazy looking and crazy fun and awesome and fast. That's the point of it, right? When you are doing this, guys, do make sure to take your time with it. The more time you take with doing this and clearing it up and cleaning the whole entire thing, the better outcome it's going to have. Um, you know, the, the faster you try to do it and try to slack off, not taking your time with it, it's going to look not as good. So you want to take your time with this, it's paint. So it has to slowly cure and get good and, you know, be happy. So also, these dudes actually touch the ground a lot. Um, so they get a lot of dirt and they do consume a lot of dirt. So be careful with it, you know. You got to make sure you clean every single little thing. Now what I'm going to first do is I'm going to wash it. I'm going to get a little sponge and just wash them off. Go in the sink and whatever you want to do, go outside, get a sponge and just wash them down slowly. Now if you do still like feel some bumps on it, go ahead and sand it. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do here in a second while I'm doing cleaning all this kind of stuff. I'm going to show you. But this, I'm going to tell you right now. They go ahead and sing it. You want it as smooth and nice as possible because it will make the paint look even better and it won't have all these wrinkles on it or anything like that. So we'll go ahead, we're gonna go start on this now. But do make sure guys that uh, I am using, I'm using 600 grit sandpaper. Go ahead and use that and use a microfiber towel as well to dry off everything. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the panels off. So right here is the, the paint, a little, little vent. So you can go ahead and just, you know, get underneath them all. And just scoop it. A little bit of time. You want to be careful with it though as well. If you want to as well, actually go in the back side of it and you can like mess with it a little bit. Just be careful when you're doing this and just be smart with it. This is plastic and it could possibly break. So just be careful with it. Now this should come off very easy though. So don't like try to force. If it's not coming off, that means you're obviously doing something wrong. And you should be a little bit more careful. Now it just has a little clips on it. So you know it does take a little bit of time. Just be careful. Now I'll show you guys at the very, here in a second, I'm going to take it all off. Right here, it came off. This is what came off right here. Now it does have three little pins on the side and it has one pin on the bottom and one pin on the top right and one pin on the top. So it's very easy to get off. Just be careful on the, you know, on this side right here that it does have more pins. Just be careful. And yeah, so it's a very easy job. I'm gonna get the other one off now and I'll be right back. You can tell it's not a very, very, very clean surface. It has a lot of dirt on it. That's what we're fixing today. Now the back of it, you don't really have to worry about painting in the job. You know, it could be like this. I'll go ahead and clean it though to make it look nice. I mean, come on now. You gotta make everything look nice. Might as well take it off. Might as well look nice, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna clean it off, what I'm gonna use, and all this good stuff. So yeah, here we go. I'm using Myers Clean Dry dish soap. So you can basically use any kind of soap I recommend. Just, you know, just, you know, soap. Are you doing really basic right now? I should try to clean all this dirt off. If you put your finger on it, you can tell it's not really flat and it's really dirty. So if you know, like just doing this, like you can tell it's really dirty. Afterwards, you want to make it as smooth as possible with that. So sand it. You can sand it. It's not going to hurt anything. And I think it'd be possible. It'd be okay if you do. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just get the soap, wet the sponge, and I do have a two-sided sponge as well. So I'm going to use this side as well if I'm trying to get some of the bumps out. So just be careful with it, you know, just don't break the plastic. And while you're waiting here, you know, got everything soaked up and everything like that, go ahead and soak these. Soak the vents and just get them all wet and nice. And try to get as much as possible, like, off, like, by just, you know, wetting them.
All right, guys, so I have my sand now, my sandpaper, and we're going to go ahead and wet the sandpaper. So after this all happened, it looks brand spanking new. Look at it. I mean, it, it will have some scratches, but the paint will go over it. So don't worry about scratches. If you do see scratches, it'd be perfectly fine. Man, this looks a lot better, though. It feels a lot better. It looks a lot better. That's the whole entire goal of this. But with the preparation and all the area, the paint to be perfectly good. So make sure you just get everything dried off with. Get a, You can get a rag or the microfiber towel. Okay, so I'm going to use the rag for right now because it's right next to me. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. This rag right here is not bad, so just, you know, if you want to do it, go ahead. It does, it looks really good. It looks really fresh and brand spanking new. Now, it is, you know, really bad looking as well. Um, it has a lot of scratches on it due to the sandpaper, which is perfectly fine. That's okay. It's going to be covered up anyway when it's all done. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and put the primer on. So, when you do put the primer on, I do suggest waiting about five minutes between each coat. We're going to be doing three coats of primer. We're going to be doing the same amount for paint as well. We're going to be doing three coats of paint, and we're going to do it every 10 minutes to make sure the paint gets in there slowly and nicely. Then we're going to be doing the clear coat with three coats for about five minutes. But the main paint, I want to do 10 minutes, and the other one, we'll do five. So, very simple and easy. So, when you do the paint, be careful. You know, this is better. The more coats, the better it is, basically. Just slowly paint it and slowly get it, and it'll be really good. That's all that matters. So, what I'm using right now, I'm using a piece of cardboard, basically, for my little platform area. You can use whatever, and if you do want to as well, you can hang it up. But my goal right now is just to try to get the front of this. I'm not trying to paint the whole entire backs out of it either, so I'm not worried about that. So, what we're going to try to do is get all the edges and all the orange. We're going to flip it upside down after a little bit, after it's done painting up, drying it. We're going to flip it like this and go in this direction and try to go around the back side as well. So let's go ahead and shake the bottle up. And lightly coat, you want to lightly coat it. I do recommend waiting five minutes and then we're gonna do three of these coats. So slowly do it. If you do want to do more coats, you can. It's okay. Alright guys, so that was our third coat of our primer. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the blue now. Now, you can see right here, it actually looks really good. It came out pretty well. It's really, really, really detailed. It looks really nice. So that's what you want. You don't want it to look all patchy still, and you can still be able to see the underneath of it. So be careful when you do this. To get everything, and make sure you get every single spot. Because the primer does help a lot, so make sure you get it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the blue now. Uh, you realize it's not all filled in, that's okay. That's the point of keep doing more coats and coats to get it fully, fully blue. Now just keep doing this for every 10 minutes, come back and check on it, and then just do another coat. And I'm gonna do three of these as well. So just every 10 minutes, come back, spray another coat on it, and then it should look awesome when it's done. Make sure when you do this, the flip back around, uh, make sure these are dry if you're gonna do the way I did it, which are dry right now, so that's a good thing. We're gonna flip these over now, like so, and get the backs out of there. We need to get the good part. This is the part we don't really reach enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, now let that dry off for about 10 minutes. We're gonna do the inside of one more time, and then it'll be time for clear coat. All right, guys, so after you are done, you know, doing your final coat and everything, make sure it's all dry and all good, and ready to go, and do your final coat. Um, this is the clear coats, and you gotta do it. Now, it's gonna do, I'm gonna do five minutes for each thing, just like I did before with the primer. 
Do everything the same way you did it the whole entire time. Just put the clear coat on it and then you should be done and ready to get back on the car. It's the next day now and holy crap these actually look pretty good so if you can see right here I'm gonna put it on the ground right now so you can see a little bit better but these came out really really well um, if you do see little spots like right there if you can't tell there's a little spots like right there. you can go down and sand them a little bit um, I let these things actually dry overnight um, you can let them dry for about an hour and they should be perfectly fine um, but I did overkill on just letting it be there and letting it dry and make sure it's good before I sand it. So if you guys do want to sand it, you can to get the little bumps off of it. But I'm okay with it. It has like a couple of bumps and you can't really see it up close. And if you look at it, like it did look really, really close up to it. And I doubt it wasn't going to go that close up to the vents. So I think it's personally okay. But yeah, so we finished it. It looks amazing and awesome. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. So we're going to put them on the car very quick and show you guys how they look so before and after. And uh, yeah, here we go.